moment you get to this main screen, okay? So this is where you create everything. Now we under design, and here you will have this sort of queue where you can rotate the image. Now we're going to create a simple product. I'm going to show what to do. Now we're going to go down, create, and then this brings up this free box queue. And we want to draw from the top, so we're going to select that like so. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go two-point rectangle, and we're going to draw this rectangle. Now you see here, as I make it larger, the measurements change. So it's going to be uh, 72 millimeters high and 160 millimeters wide. Now that's a bit long, so we're going to decrease that like so. There you go. Now I'm going to show you simple tools here, uh, drawing and extrude and fill it. Okay, so once I'm happy, I'm going to press that. Now I want to put it at an angle so I can see uh, how it's working like so. Now I'm going to select it and I'm going to go extrude. Extrude makes it three dimensional. I've got an arrow and I can draw the measurements in. So I'm just going to use the arrow for now and pull it out. So that's going to be 20 millimeters wide, two centimeters. Once I'm happy, I press return. Okay, now I'm just going to move this and I'm going to draw from the front. So I'm going to go back to create and create sketch, draw it, this time circle, there you go, nice, complete sketch, we make that three dimensional with the extrude, we're going to make it 10 millimeters, like that, so you can see now it's now three dimensional, I'm going to select again, create, circle, I'm going to look from the front to make it easier, so I'm going to do a few different three-dimensional circles. Extrude, select, I'm going to do seven millimeters this time. Create, draw the circle again. Return, extrude this outwards, like so. I wonder if you can tell what that is. Now that's a bit much, so I can go back, I'm going to extrude it back inwards, pull it like that. There you go, okay. Now I'm going to cut, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Circle again, drawing the center, circle, like so, but rather than extrude it outwards to make it three dimensional, I'm going to select it. And when you select something, it goes dark blue, and I'm going to go minus 10. If you go minus, it goes inwards, like so. Can you tell what that is? Probably. Okay, now I'm going to select. Now, every time you want to draw on a side or a face of the product, you have to select it, and it goes dark blue. I'm going to go create. I'm going to go rectangle. I'm going to do this really fast. You can do it a lot slower. And take your time. Extrude minus four. So it goes inwards. And then I'm going to do some buttons. Now I'm guessing you probably can tell what this is now. So I'm going to put some buttons on here. I'm going to draw a few like so. Old shift will allow you to do multiple selections. There you go. There you go. Cool. Now I'm going to go to the back. And I'm going to draw a rectangle, which is going to be sort of like an LCD screen. Now, you see that it didn't work very much. Now, if I make a mistake, I can simply press this arrow to undo the sketch. And it will disappear. I'm going to try that again. There you go.
Now, draw this square, which is going to be sort of like an LCD screen. I'm going to go minus two millimeters. Extrude. Back. There you go. Okay. Now, I'm going to do uh, some sort of buttons here. I'm going to select the side. Go create. Select. Oh, yeah, select it. Now, as you can see, I'm doing this very fast. I'm rushing it a bit. You take your time with it. Now, this is a very simple camera, okay? Now, if you sort of want a bit more inspiration, you can actually look at some cameras online uh, to sort of get some more ideas for detail. But you can sort of make it as creative as you want. This kind of looks a bit like, more like a classic design camera. There you go. Now, like with any product, it generally doesn't have these sharp, rigid edge, edges. Um, it sort of has it more curved. Now, I'm going to hold Shift and I'm going to select all the camera body edges like so. Now, to make these curved, like so. So what you do, I'm gonna go modify, I'm gonna press fill it, and I'm gonna go maybe three millimeters. There you go. It's created this very curved camera body, right here. So no more sharp edges. And I can hold shift, and I can select the lens also, and press fill it, and maybe Do say two millimeters. There you go. And I can even do it on this part as well. Maybe one millimeter. And also inside the LCD screen. And even on the button right there. So by doing it more, I've created like a dome button like so. Now, once I'm happy with it, I can go into render. So at the moment we're in design. So I'm gonna go render, and this allows me to put material and different colors on that. So as you're here now, it makes it look a bit more realistic. Now I've done it in all of this base black color. So I'm gonna go down to the appearance color wheel, select that, and it'll bring up additional options. Now at the moment I'm in bodies and components, so that means it covers it all in one particular me uh, material and colour. So I'm going to go down to maybe, um, what can I do, let's have a look, so you've got lots of different options, maybe paint, and select that, I'm going to be glossy, uh, I can make my camera red if I wanted to, oh wow look at that, okay, now and then if I go down to sort of faces, I can just drag it on one particular side. Like that. So it's quite a jazzy sort of camera, this. There you go. Now you can have a play around with this a little bit more. And sort of see what you can come up with. Now you've actually got other options here. You've got sort of metals as well. If you wanted to make it sort of a metal, your aluminium, brass, bronze, what it looks like with the brass. Oh, that's quite nice. So you've got sort of a brass, black and red trim. There you go. Now, once you're happy with it, I've kind of done that really fast. Very jazzy camera. Okay, now I'm going to render this. So what I do here is I go to um, in canvas render, 
like so. And you'll see here you've got excellent, final, and infinite. That depends on the resolution quality and how detailed the image is. Now, just to make it faster, I'm going to keep it on excellent, but you can try final, or you can even try infinite. It takes longer to render, but it'll be better quality. But just to sort of make it faster, I'll keep on excellent and see what I can come up with. There you go. Might take around about 30 seconds. Now, once you've done the render, what I want you to do is you can save this. You go to capture image, and press OK, give it a title, file type, you can put JPEG, press save, and there you go a saved image of a product three dimensional design that you've done. Have a go and uh, see how you get on.